Hi, my name is Vabhavi Patel and I am in the online section for the course Cryptography and I am presenting the topic Shami Secret Sharing. Let's start with what is Secret Sharing. So, Shami Secret Sharing is an algorithm given by Adi Shamir and it is a form of secret sharing. What is secret sharing? It is uh, the method where a secret is divided into many parts and each participant has its own unique part where some of the parts or all of them are needed in order to reconstruct that particular secret now let's say we have too many participants and we want to combine the secret which we divided between among them so this can be done but it is more impractical and therefore, sometimes the threshold scheme is used where any k of the parts are sufficient to reconsider the original secret. Now, let's uh, go to the definition, mathematical definition of Shamir's secret sharing. So, here the goal is to divide the secret S into n pieces of data which can be S of 1 to S of n in such a way that knowledge of any k or more SI, SOFI pieces of secret S makes S easily computable and second is the knowledge of any k minus 1 or fewer SOFI pieces leaves the secret S completely undetermined. This scheme is called KN threshold scheme. If k is equal to n then all participants are required to reconstruct the secret. Looking more into the Samir secret sharing, here the essential idea of Adi Shamir uh, is the scheme where like if we have two points, we can draw a line from them. So two points are sufficient to define a line, three points are sufficient to define parabola, and four points are sufficient to define cubic curve. So, in more general way, it takes k points to define polynomial of degree k minus 1. Suppose we want to use a k and threshold scheme to share our secret as without loss of, loss of generality, assume to be an element in finite field f of size p. Where the condition is, the k should be less than z. Uh, the, the k should be greater than zero, and it should less or equal to n, and n should be always less than p, and the secret s should always less than p, and where p is a prime number. Choose at random k minus one positive integers a of i to a of k minus 1 with uh, the condition that a of i is always less than some prime number p and let say a0 is equal to s that is our secret. Now let's look at to the function f of x which can be defined as a0 a plus a1x up to up to f k minus 1 x raised to k minus 1. So here is a polynomial function with the degree of k minus 1. Now let's construct any endpoints out of that function for the instance set of i is equal to 1 to n to retrieve function i f of i. When we put the values of i in this function, it will give the values as f of i. So we'll get the set of values for endpoints here. So every participant is given a point that we calculated from this. And given any subset of k of the pairs, we can find the coefficients of the polynomial using the Lagrange interpolation. And the secret here is a0. So let's look at the example for this Shamir secret sharing. So here we are doing this 
all example with using integer arithmetic suppose that our secret s is uh, 1 2 3 4 any random number here we wish to divide the secret into six parts n is equal to 6 where any subset of three parts is sufficient to reconstruct the secret at random we obtain 2k minus 1 numbers where in our case k is equal to 3 so we are assuming the numbers 166 and 94 these are the two numbers let's say a0 is equal to 1 2 3 4 which we have discussed earlier it is given secret as 0 s is s as a0 and even as 166 and a2 as 94 now we can write down the formula polynomial function f of x uh, is equal to 1 2 3 4 plus 166 plus 94 x squared we can construct six different points using this d of x minus 1 equals x f of x from the polynomial function which we have discussed it uh, earlier here using this formula we are calculating the d 0 d1 d2 and d3 d4 d5 here we are putting x as 1 and this will come up with the value of f of x as 1, 4, 9, 4, d1, d2 and so on. We give each participant a different single point for both x and f of x. Here we are using d of x minus 1 instead d of x. And the point starts from 1 f of 1 because uh, when you put 0 here, uh, the function will definitely give you the secret so we are not using 0 f of 0 here and that's why we are, we are using d of x minus 1 here looking forward to the reconstruction so in order to reconstruct the secret i need three points will be enough so let's consider x0 y0 x1 y1 x2 y2 as this three points and we'll compute the lagrange basis polynomials by this given equation now uh, we can put the values for x1 y1 and uh, x2 y2 and x0 y0 here to calculate l0 let's say x minus x minus x1 upon x0 minus x1 into x minus x2 upon x0 minus x2 and we'll get the formula here as this and this can be written as the function f of x such that the summation of phi j where j is starts from 0 to 2 into l of j x and this will return you the function which was earlier stated so here this scheme is not so secure because we are using the integer arithmetic so Ivers dropper can win lots of information about s with every d of y that she finds suppose that uh, she finds two points d0 and d1 and she doesn't have k equal to three points so in theory she should not have won uh, any more information about s but she combines the info from two points with the public info that is n equal to six because we are dividing secret into six parts k is equal to three that is three parts are needed to recover the secret and the function f of x is equal to a0 plus a1x up to up to k of k minus one x k minus one is zero that is the given secret function s where uh, a of i belongs to n so by applying the values of d0 and d1 if a stopper can able to guess the values of a2 
by simplifying these two equations. So this is all math. So by simplifying this two of equation, the Evers dropping can guess the values of A2. So this scheme using uh, integer arithmetic is not secure. So the solution for that is we can use a finite field arithmetic in a field of size p belongs to p where p is a prime number p should be greater than s and p should be greater than n so this is in practice only a small change it just means that we should change a prime p that is bigger than the number of participants every a of i including a of 0 is equal to s and we have to calculate the points as x f of x mod p instead of x f of x which we were doing it earlier so since everyone who receives a point also has to know the value of p so that the security will be higher and one should select a value p that is not too low so the condition here is uh, p should be such a bigger value not to lower value so for this example we choose p is equal to 1 6 1 3 so our polynomial becomes f of x 1 2 3 4 plus 166 94 x square modulo 16 13 which were our function earlier which gives the points 1 1 4 9 4 2 2 329 and up to up to 6 7 75 looking forward to solution this time the evil stopper doesn't win any information it finds about d of x suppose again evil stopper again finds d0 d1 and this time the public info is n6 n is equal to 6 k is equal to 3 p is equal to 16 13 and f of x is same as the function modulo p a0 is equal to s so uh, the evil dropper fills f of x formula with s and the value of k and p which is more likely s plus a1x plus up to up to a of 3 minus 1x 3 minus 1 so the simplification is given by this here we can write down modulo 16 13 as a um, any number multiplication by 16 13 where the m belongs to any natural number so the evil dropper also fill the information of d0 d1 s so by simplifying this formula we are reaching at the point a1 is equals 4 4 8 minus 3 a2 minus 16 13 m1 minus m2 here the by putting the values and guessing the values for A2, the Evers dropper cannot obtain any information about A1, A2 because she has to guess a long, long time and the guess will never stop because we have M1 minus M2 here and we are not aware, the Evers dropper is not aware about M1 and M2. So this time, Evers dropper could not guess M1 and M2 and that could be any integer so there are an infinite amount of time possible values for A2. A Here the Evers dropper can guess the decrease value for 448, 445 this is the pattern forming here which is where it is decreased by 3 so he could conclude that a2 sorry for that and in 147 up to up to um, any number of time but because it's prime she cannot even conclude that and she did not win any information so that that is very secure so i've taken references from uh, wikipedia mostly uh, Shami's secret sharing scheme and that's it thank you